So today I'm talking about a P0368 code, what it is and how you can go about fixing it. And so what is a P0368 code? Well, it's a camshaft position sensor B, circuit high, bank one. And so what does this mean? Well, basically an engine has what's called a camshaft position sensor or sensors that's just tracking the camshaft as it spins. And it's reporting this information back to the computer, which is using the information to time the engine. But when you get this P0368 code, the computer's seeing a problem with one of these sensors, mainly that sensor B on bank one side of the engine. And so it's got to be troubleshooted to know why. And if you have a V6 or V8 engine, there's going to be two banks on an engine. Bank one is always the side of the engine with the number one cylinder. So if you Google your engine at like cylinder location or firing order or something like that, and you locate the number one cylinder on your engine, then that side of the engine is going to be bank one. And that's going to be the side of the engine the computer's seeing a problem with. If you have a four cylinder engine, then there'll only be one bank. And when an engine has dual overhead cams, there's going to be two cams on each bank of the engine. Camshaft A is always on the intake side and camshaft B is going to be on the exhaust side. So basically when you get this P0368 code, find bank one side of the engine and the camshaft position sensor closest to the exhaust is going to be the one having the problem. You know, one thing to note about these camshaft position sensors is that depending on the vehicle or mainly the computer, if that sensor is replaced, the computer might have what's called a relearn procedure where basically it learns all the variances that's inside of the new sensor. This can really vary, it can depend on the vehicle, the year, the make, the model. So if you do replace that camshaft position sensor and the engine doesn't want to start, or if it starts and it just runs badly, you might want to research what's called the camshaft position relearn procedure for that particular vehicle. And how the relearn procedure is done is also going to vary. If you have a good OBD2 scan tool, it might have that option inside there. Although these are the more expensive scan tools, these aren't the low cost ones. Sometimes you could just drive the vehicle around and the computer will automatically relearn. Some vehicles have a set steps that they need to do. For example, drive 10 miles an hour for five minutes, 20 miles an hour for three minutes, different steps like this, and the computer will relearn. And again, it could vary, so you need to do a little research on your vehicle to know for sure. Also, if you do go to replace that camshaft position sensor, it's a good idea to get OEM original sensor because usually the variances that's inside of an OEM sensor will be close to the original, at least hopefully. So if you do happen to replace that sensor, it's a good idea to get an OEM original if possible. And so what would be some possible causes of a P0368 code? Well, the most common things that's going to cause this is either that camshaft position sensor has gone bad and just needs to be replaced or the wiring going to it. And so there's going to be some different ways you go about troubleshooting this. It's always a good idea to go check for any blowing fuses. Sometimes it can be kind of confusing on which fuse this is on. So again, you have to go do a little research, but it is a good idea to go check your fuses to be sure they're good. And there can be different types of camshaft position sensors. There could be two wire sensors, three wire sensors, four wire sensors. So if you do go to work on your vehicle, be sure to get wiring schematics or diagrams for your particular vehicle. That way you know for sure what's going on. These three wire sensors are very common. And basically what's going on with these is you're going to have a ground wire. You're going to have power going to it, which is usually five volts. And then every single time a piece of metal is directly in front of that sensor, it's going to send a signal to the computer. Oh, and so every single time one of these teeth is directly in front of that sensor, the sensor is going to pick it up and it's going to send a signal back to the computer, which is going to be able to count this and keep track of it and know the timing of the engine this way. And so you can go and check the wiring out. You can't be sure that that's good. Be sure you're getting voltage to it when the key goes into the on position. Be sure you've got a good ground wire and also check the wire going back to the computer and be sure that's good. You can also test these sensors if you want to. Again, there's some different ways to go about doing this. One method is that you take the sensor out, you back probe into the wires, and you go to the ground wire, and then you go to the signal wire. You put the key in the on position, and you should read voltage, usually like 5 volts, or like right here, 4.80 volts. And then you put a piece of metal directly in front of that sensor, and the voltage should drop. So for example, right here, 0 0.02, the voltage drop because it's detecting that metal right in front of it, and so that sensor is good. That's just one way to go about testing it. There's some different methods. But basically, the most common cause of this P0368 code is going to be either that bank one sensor B has gone bad and needs to be replaced or the wiring going to it. And so while that is the most common cause, there is some other things that could cause this code. And mainly this is going to have to do with like any kind of timing components, like a bad timing belt or timing chain or something like that. And basically, all these camshafts and crankshafts, they all have timing marks on them and they all need to line up. For example, if a timing belt slipped and this mark is a little bit before or a little bit after where it's supposed to be, then that can throw everything off. That could cause problems. Of course, when that happens, you usually get a lot of other codes. So, for example, if you also got like a P0016 code, crankshaft position, camshaft position, correlation, bank one, sensor A, 
then in that case, it's a good idea to go check out all the timing components, the belt, the timing chain, the tensioner, things along those lines. So if you're getting the other codes, be sure to pay attention to that because the last thing that could cause this is some kind of issue with the timing component. And so that's basically it. I just wanted to give a basic overview of how you go about fixing a vehicle with the P0368 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you, please click like, please click subscribe and have a good day.